a John Ball Zoo tiger was euthanized after old age and arthritis caught up with her. News Ace Megan Bunchman went to the zoo today to learn about the life and legacy of Nika, and she joins us now with her story. Megan. Nika was just one of three Amur tigers at the John Ball Zoo. She was the first to launch the zoo's exhibit when she arrived in West Michigan in May of 2014. The zoo community is mourning the loss of Nika, a female Amur tiger this week who died at the age of 18. Nika's missed already and the staff really grew to love this animal and uh, really formed a really strong bond with her. Exhibit curator Tim Sampson says Nika was not only the zoo's first tiger, she was part of a major conservation effort, having bred four cubs during her time in Lansing before coming to West Michigan. In the 1940s, it was estimated fewer than 100 Amur tigers existed in the wild. It's conservation efforts like these that have brought the species back to around 500. Tigers in the wild are about 10 to 15 years for a lifespan, and then under human care, they can get up to 20, but it's, it's usually 16 to 18 years. Nika was 18 when she was put down last Thursday. Samson says she was showing signs of slowing down dramatically, aging and arthritis. When we have older animals or animals that are sick, we do uh, a quality of life watch. Prior to Nika's passing, she became known for the tiger who contracted COVID. Tigers are susceptible to COVID. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the big cats are. Um, she did have it. She had it very minorly. Um, fortunately, uh, the Amurs um, kind of handle it pretty well. The zoo still has two tigers, a younger male and female, in its exhibit, but Samson says... She became a keeper favorite really quick. She, uh, you know, came from a kind of a standoffish young lady to just the sweetest old lady that uh, I've ever worked with. Amir tigers are listed as critically endangered species.